Today's Kickstarter game of the week obviously has to be Castlevania 1 Remake and Unreal. Okay, it's... It, it's not. It's actually a Cthulhu-esque horror game called Omen Exitio Plague. These HP Lovecraft-inspired horror games are a dime a dozen on Kickstarter, frankly, but almost all of them find some interesting new mechanic to bring to the table or have some fun presentation. Omen Exitio is no exception. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. This is a story-driven game that takes place entirely in a book. That's right, those big things with paper inside them that you used to have in school? Yeah, one of those. Set in the 1800s, Omen Exitio is described as, A dark hand is moving the wheels of history, trying to wake the dark forces that can destroy and shape the world in the most terrible ways. Discover what war-scarred Madagascar, smoggy industrial Europe, and ancient temples of worship have in common in an adventure that only you can follow to the best, or maybe the worst, ending. So it's a story-driven horror game inspired by Lovecraft, probably gonna be full of racism. Big deal, right? Well, yes, because as I said, it's the presentation that sets this one apart because that presentation also carries over through the gameplay and story. This is essentially a narrative-driven RPG in an actual book. It was heavily inspired by game books, which are those choose-your-own-adventure stories, and it really is set in a book. You have to turn each and every page in order to progress through the game. Thing is, it's also full of gameplay decisions and choices, and those decisions will affect how the story progresses. It's kind of like a visual novel, but a bit more classy, quite frankly. So a twine game in that case? After each page, you're presented with a decision, and on some pages you're given a character bio or inventory kind of thing. But you can also pull away from the book to read a map or continue playing with your inventory to fully immerse yourself in the game or prepare yourself for what's up ahead. This will be the first game in a series, or the first chapter of the book, which is titled Plague. The developers plan on releasing more if it does well. One of the things I like about this setup is that since it's set in the 1800s, you'll meet various historical figures throughout the campaign. It doesn't mention who, but the campaign does say you'll be able to interact with them and even change how they influence history. This is being developed by Tiny Bull Studios, the hardcore of casual gaming. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Cause... <sighs> As the name suggests, they've made a bunch of mobile games like Comix, Comics, and Alphabots. They even have a naked lady on their website too, for some reason, so that's something. The developers all introduce themselves in the Kickstarter video, and there's also a brief explanation of who they are on the page. It seems like they're looking to hire an English translator for the game, or a professional English mother tongue, as they call the position. They are Italian, after all. They're seeking just short of $35,000, and... And that's about it, really. They say they're going to make the game whether they get the funding or not, but they don't really talk about any risks and challenges, really. They don't flesh out the gameplay or story mechanics either. I pretty much just presented the entire pitch video and campaign. There really isn't a lot here, so I feel like I'm stepping out on a huge limb by choosing this as the game of the week. But this is something I believe in, and... Okay, while the concept isn't the most original thing in the world, it is different enough to still be interesting, and the presentation alone makes it feel much more unique than it is. I mean, how many games do you play by turning pages of a book? The campaign is also pretty fresh, launching just Tuesday of this week, so it's hard to say how good Tiny Bull will be with their updates. Yeah, I really am going out on a limb with this one, aren't I? Still, it's one I feel confident in, and the game itself looks great. That being said, I wouldn't blame you if you took a wait-and-see approach with this one. Either way, Omen Exitio Plague is our Kickstarter Game of the Week. Sorry if this was a bit of a short one, there just really wasn't much to go on. Like I said, there just isn't much in this campaign. Which is why I emphasize that me promoting it like this is kind of a bit of a risk. Not because I think the developers will take the money and buy a private island with it or anything, but we just don't know much about it beyond the basics, or how the developers will do with updates. Hopefully we'll see more of those updates soon, but we're gonna have to wait and see on that. Clickest Patreon! Ha! I made you hear my Patreon pitch before you could leave. <sighs> I'm pathetic.